Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. Today I wanted to show you how to create proxies in Premiere Pro in 2025. In short, proxies are simply a low resolution copy of your original video, and it's used to reduce the workload on your computer and basically speed up your editing process. I did a similar video to this a few years back, but it's time for a few updates. Some of the screens changed just a slight bit, so let's just jump right into this. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. You can select either a single clip or multiple clips, it doesn't matter that you wanna make your proxies for, right click and go to proxy, then create proxies. These are my preferred settings, but feel free to adjust them as you'd like. I go with the quarter of the frame size, but you can go with half frame size if you want slightly higher resolution. And here's a quick screenshot of the relationship between your source footage and proxy dimensions for the setting of quarter or half as well. I like having the proxy watermark also set to on. You don't have to do this, it's just my preference. I like to keep my proxies next to the original media, but you can select your preferred location, click OK, and you'll see the media encoder has opened and it's already started creating your proxies. Now, once media encoder is finished, you can close it out and then head back over to Premiere Pro. You don't need media encoder at this point. Now to turn our proxies on, we simply need to select the proxy icon as shown here. Because I turned on proxy watermark, I'll also see the proxy watermark icon here in the lower left-hand corner. Again, by toggling the proxy icon, I can enable or disable proxies. The watermark isn't necessary, it's just a preference I use. If you don't have the proxy icon in your toolbar, you just go to the plus sign and drag it over, just like I'm showing here. And just a quick observation here, the toggle proxy icon, it used to turn the color blue, but as of this video upload, I'm running version 25.1.0, it doesn't seem to change color any longer. I just wanted to point that out, so don't be surprised if yours isn't changing color. The icon itself just shows enabled or disabled. And just for some visual clarification, when you see the icon here on the left, your proxies are basically enabled or on. And when you see the icon on the right, your proxies are disabled or off. Now to be clear, it doesn't matter if the proxies are enabled or disabled when you export your footage. Your exported media is always the full resolution and the smaller proxy is not used when you export. And that's it for this video. I'll leave a link to the Adobe Premiere Pro website if you wanna dig deeper into the bells and whistles of the proxy feature. This video was just to get you started using proxy files for your higher resolution videos, your 4Ks, your 8K footage. This is really gonna come in handy. So please give this video a like if you've got any value out of it. That's it for now. I will see you in the next video. Take care.